What's going on, YouTube? Today is Saturday. Sun about to come up. Early morning. Currently at the money. Getting unloaded. Got a lot of weight today. I bought them 80,000 pounds. Hope they enjoy. Look at that right there. Got a lot of weight right there. 15,000 dollars flat top, still running every day. It was looking cooler last time we came. We ordered that radiator hose from Freightliner. We had it installed yesterday, so we no longer leaking coolant no more. And we didn't have to stop work. We didn't have to put it in a dealership. Uh, we just took a $20 bill, poured up the Migo. Migo swapped it out right there and now for the 20. Yeah, I'm going to Freightliner today. I got to pick up some parts. So, cab suck over there to the right may be busted. So I may end up replacing both these cab shots and both these little cab airbags right here. I may just replace the whole roll. Try to replace everything I can before it get cold out here. But I ain't trying to get out the truck in the winter time. Unless it's about some money. Talk to y'all for a second. Alrighty, so been shopping on Facebook Marketplace here lately and um, seen a lot of trucks that I would get. I did. I seen a lot of trucks that I would get, but a lot of the people selling trucks on Facebook Marketplace that I encountered, not just with trucks, but trailers too, uh, a lot of these guys are just completely incompetent. Uh, hard to do business with um, I haven't really had any good experience so I tell you guys how my experience is going there was a pneumatic trailer it's a lot of pneumatic trailers on Facebook marketplace but it's one in particular that I seen that I won't started talking to the guy asking him about the trailer I just need to know has the trailer had any wheels on it? Is it, is it has it ever been welded on uh, he don't know. He don't know. I said, okay, that's cool. You know, if he don't know, he don't know. On Facebook Marketplace, it only shows a picture of the left side of the trailer. The left side of the trailer looks perfect. It's right there in my price range. I asked him, I said, hey, man, um, yeah, man, I'll come get the trailer. But before I come get it, can you show me pictures of the right side of the trailer so I can make sure that there's no wheels in it? Oh man, I can't I can't take no pictures, but you can come up here and see it though. I'm like, no, no, I can't come see no, that's not how it works. See, I'm not your neighbor. I don't live down the road. I'm literally across the country from you. Okay, so no, what you can do is take your ass outside and snap some photos and send it back to me. Cause if I got to take a plane and rent a car to come see the trailer. I got 50 cents. That's all. That's, that, that, that's it, right? That's all I got. That's all I got. Shit. It ain't, ain't nobody else about to buy. You can't make no money with no old trailer. What is this? A 1940? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So you better take the 50 cents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Uh, is my travel fees, is that is that coming off the price? Yeah, yeah. You talking about I got to come see it. Is that okay? I can come see it. Is that, is it you going to knock that off the price? Fucking stupid. I cut the dude off. Nets victim. Got here a truck for sale. 18 speed truck. Got everything I want. Started talking to the guy. Got him down to my price range. He sent me all the pictures and photos and everything that I needed to see. And uh, I told him, hey man, I want to come look at the truck. And he was like, oh, oh, no, I asked him, I said, is there any mechanical problems? He was like, oh, well, you know, it's just one thing that I'm going to show you when you get here. I'm like, what, what's the one thing? He was well, nothing major, it's no, it's not mechanical, it's, 
I just got to show you when you get here. Hey, what the fuck does that mean? I said, man, what what does it got something to do with? He said, oh man, I can't really explain it, but like I said, when you get up here, I'm gonna show you what it is. It's the only thing that I'm having an issue with. I'm like, what the fuck are you having an issue with? Talk. Once again, he's on the other side of the planet too. Um, went to the next person. Next person, Freightliner Classic. Talking to the guy. The um, truck got a 34 6 cat engine. I asked the dude, is it a 34 6 B or 34 6 E? I'm already knowing it's a B, but I'm trying to verify to make sure. Oh, he don't know nothing about the truck. Oh, he don't know nothing about He can't tell me nothing, no nothing. All he could do is give me the address and say, come look at it. I'm like, dude, is this your truck? Is this your truck? And he got the price range right. Is this your truck, though? You don't know anything about the truck? Because if you don't know what kind of engine you got, then when I get there, there's, there's no point in talking to you. What, th there's nothing to talk about. Just give me your ID so I can verify your name on the title. Make sure it's your truck. And then go sit in the fucking corner. You know, take the cab. Go sit in the corner over there and count or something. Because I just don't understand. I just don't understand what the fuck is going on with truck drivers trying to sell equipment. Next victim. The idiot in um, with the brown Western Star. The one that you guys, for whatever reason, ain't bought yet. It's the only truck that didn't sell off my Facebook community page. Uh, I understand why, though, because the idiot, the seller is an idiot. I understand why that truck didn't sell. You probably was trying to buy it, but the seller is an idiot. I know. I know. I know. I know. Contacted this fool. Hey, man, you got uh, any pictures of the engine? Oh, man, you know, uh, I'm too busy, man. I can't. I'm too busy, man. Just come look at it. Just come look. I'm too busy. I'm like, uh, well, man, when you get a chance, man, I got plenty of time, man. It's at your house, right? Yeah, it's at my house, man, but I'm too busy to go out there and take some pictures. I'm like, well, man, just whenever you get unbusy, just go out there, take some pictures. Of the end. You ain't got nothing there. Picture on Facebook Marketplace of the hood open. I, 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 I got to make sure you know what a 12.7 to 1260 series is. I don't know, man. It's shit. You may be one of them new lease drivers that just don't know nothing about nothing. So, yeah, you need to pop the hood. Something. He too motherfucking busy. I said, man, who this idiot right here? Uh, man, he was so busy. I started, hey, man, look, this is all I got. This is all I got right here. Well, well man, I'll sell it to you for that price. But, yeah, man, I, I'm not, I, can't, I can't go out there and take no, my, my, my life too busy. I can't do no videos. I can't take no pictures. But you can come see it, though. You can come see it, though. I got something for him, though. Got something for him. I'm going to come see the truck. No, not me. I'm going to have somebody else go. Because I got people in the area. Give me a second. Got to check on the money. One more part to go. I know I make it look easy. Give me a second. I usually pause the video. You get to see Aaron's work. See I'm working. Tall shifter.
quite low in the last part. So, like I said, my time on Facebook Marketplace, very difficult. It got so difficult that I just started looking for trucks in the area that I can drive to. Um, it's only one truck that I wish I would have took to do the money, but uh, I didn't know he was going to sell it so fast. There was a um, 2013 Kenworth T660 for sale. It had a Cummins ISS 15, about a million miles on it. Needed the end frame. Well, he didn't say it needed the end frame, but you know, obviously a million miles, end frame. The guy wanted $20,000, and my stupid ass didn't go get it. Not because I didn't want a bag. He just sold it too fucking fast. I put up some pictures of it if I still got the uh, if I can still access the ad, but I was gonna go back. I already sold though, unfortunately. But I know I tell y'all that you know I'm looking for O sevens and older. What year was that truck? I think it was a 2011. I don't know what I just told y'all. I think it was a 2011 Kenworth. But uh, I know I tell y'all I'm looking yeah because it didn't have DEF. Like I said, I know I told y'all I'm looking for old sevens and olders, which I am. But when a deal come around, deal's a deal, hey, uh, <laughs> deal's a deal. But Andrew, it's got emissions. I know, I know. Uh, that's not that's not my concern though. That that's not that's not my concern. Um, first of all, it was already listed as being cancer free anyway. So, uh, but that even if it wasn't cancer free. Uh, that wasn't my concern. That ain't that ain't my concern. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That ain't something I'm worried about. Uh, as long as I got a shop that can rebuild the engine for the load, but I scooped it up. Now it wasn't a studio sleeper, Kenworth. No, it wasn't. It was a little aerodynamic, but uh, I can talk about it now because it's already gone. It's too late. It's too late. But. Uh, what else? I'm steady looking, man. Steady looking. There's a lot of trucks on Facebook Marketplace that's being listed for the wrong price or not even close to the correct price. Uh, you got people trying to sell uh, Freightliner Columbia's for thirty and 40000 They owe seven and older. Uh, you got Migos on there for whatever reason. Every time I look, Migos got the Freightliner Coronado uh, listed in Spanish. Uh... <laughs> uh, he don't do no talking though. Now, I, don't, I don't think Migo reply back as a phone number. And I'm like, nah, Migo. Uh, nah, you got to, you got to, you got to type some words. Nah, you can't just send me no phone number, Migo. I don't know. Some tells me you must be a dealership, and I, yeah, I'm not fucking with the dealership at all. So, uh, it's one more truck in the area that I'm looking at. $12,000. Uh, he said the engine was burning oil. Obviously, it needed in frame. That's why he's selling it for $12,000. And um, now, you know, obviously, I can buy trucks with blown engines, burning oil, burning coolant. And uh, obviously, I got shops I can take it to. And get all that shit rebuilt. Uh, do I want to do that? No, but you know, a deal's a deal. Got the blue truck for eleven thousand. I say, hey, well, you know, I know, I understand. A lot of people say all types of bad shit about the C15 twin turbo, just like they say a lot about the Mercedes. But uh, a deal's a deal. You know, for ten thousand dollars, I buy the truck. Then I go and you know allow. The uh, truckers to say what they need to tell me about the engine. Hey, Andrew, it's the worst engine of all time. The IV, the IVAAs, the IVVs, they got this issue. The pre quarter got this issue. Uh, you know, uh, it's not really twin turbo. The other turbo was for emissions, and they just sucked ass. This, so I take all that information in, and I say, okay, uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna do this to it, that to it, and that right there to it. 
And that's going to address all those truckers' issues right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how we go do that. And uh, when the truck is going down the road, they going to think it's some type of miracle. And then I got this plan to them, which they never going to comprehend that it's not a miracle. No, it's not a miracle. It's not an act of God. It wasn't Jesus himself that rebuilt the engine. It was none of that. It was just, uh, I listened to what you said. And because I actually know about trucking, you know, I'm not one of the people that refuse to learn about engines. That's not me. Uh, I took what you said. And uh, I told Migos, I relayed the information over there to Migo, and Migo told me what to do. He said, oh, brother, <laughs> yeah, 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 just leave the money on the seat, and uh, it's, it's going to be it's gonna be running good, Andrew. That, that's right. You leave the money on the seat, and it's going to be running real good, Andrew. You, you say you're having problems with the, with the, with the IV, yeah, they, it's going to be running good, Andrew. Don't you just leave the money on the seat and come back in four hours. And that's right, that's right, uh-huh. So, uh, you know, I'm not worried about uh, any of that, that right there, that foolishness, that ain't, that ain't my concern. That's not my concern. So, if you sell a truck on Facebook Marketplace, what could you do to be a better seller? It's very simple. Uh, first of all, take as many pictures and videos as possible. You know, uh, that way you don't got to constantly go out, take photos, and send it to the one person that's asking you about it because you didn't do it for everybody the first time. You know, uh, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. People that's only got three photos on Facebook Marketplace, like you'll see the, both sides of the truck and maybe the tires and that's it. I don't even bother messaging them people. It's just a waste of time. Uh, people that's got ridiculous truck prices, waste of time. A lot of people on that got the classes going for the 40000 Skip right over that. Skip right over that. Uh, people got the uh, centuries, Columbia's for the forty. Th skip right over that. Um, what other overpriced trucks am I seeing? That was really the main ones right there. Um, the Western stars, they be in the price range, fifteen to about forty, just depending on the model. Um, those tend to do sell for those price ranges, like I said, depending on the model, simply because uh, it's not a lot of them out here, you know, and uh, I don't know, man, I don't know, but it's a lot you can do to be a better seller. Communication, you know, don't assume that everybody that's messaging you is broke. Uh, you know, okay, you may click some people profile and oh man, he ain't got no money. Okay. Alright. Uh-huh. I only had one person that ever questioned me when I I you know when I offered, hey man, uh, you know, uh, I ain't got that but I got this. You know. <laughs> Migo had a truck listed. What truck was he at, Migo? Migo here. Oh, Migo had the classic listed for the thirty-five thousand. <laughs> I told Migo, I said, "Oh yeah, I ain't nah, fuck that." Migo, I got twenty. Migo said, "Why, why, why, why such a big drop? Why, why I got it listed for the thirty-five? Why twenty? And I'm like, oh okay, M Migo, Migo must be smart over here." We didn't reply back to Migo. Migo seemed to know what the fuck he doing over there. Will I buy a third truck? I don't know. I would like to close the year out with a third truck. Or a second trailer. Or a truck and a trailer. That would be fine. But um, it's going to get cold outside. It's going to be winter time. And, uh, you know, if I don't buy a third truck, it's not a big deal to me. Just take the money and save it. Go buy some stocks and shit with it. Grow the money over the whole winter time, cause I won't be buying nothing in the winter time unless a deal pop up. Anytime there's a deal, oh, we we always keep our eyes open for a deal, you know. Always keeping our eyes open for a deal. That's right. Somebody coming in and said the oil field is booming now. I don't know if you guys know. 
Oh yeah, I, I don't know what you guys know, but I've been in the oil field since 2017. I didn't been a carrier in the oil field for almost a year now. Just because you don't see me in the oil field right now, see like right now, th this is not the oil field. Just because I'm not in the oil field myself does not mean my carrier is not in the oil field and people are not moving loads, okay? That's, that's not what that means. I know exactly what's going on in the oil field because I run a carrier in the oil field. I got to know what's going on. I got to know where the drivers is at. They gonna be messaging me asking, hey man, your driver picked up at this time. We ain't seen him in nine hours. Where is he? Now I got to tell them, yeah man, he sleep on the side of the state. Probably ain't got no service. I get them to, you know, get the load there when I can. Shit, I don't know, but uh, we did, it, it's been a lot of stuff that y'all don't know, man. That didn't have enough camera. I didn't hear the uh, drivers cussing the freaking uh, sand coordinators out. They messaged me to have the driver fired, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't hear the light go on, man. Uh, here recently, when I was on a cruise ship, was on a cruise ship, got a phone call from the customer. Driver was about to beat the sand coordinator's ass. Yep. While I was on the cruise ship. Yep. He had to deal with that. Here recently, the last accident, driver slammed into the fucking silo. Back and back. Uh sand coordinator gathered him back. Like like they do all the other drivers. He stopped, but for whatever reason, this particular driver only had a 10-foot hose. So after the sand coordinator backed him up, he went to the back of his trailer. He's, hey man, I only got 10 foot hose. He said, man, he took it up on himself. He need to get even closer because he only got 10 foot hose. He ain't got no other, he ain't got no 20, he ain't got no other hose. So he jumped in his fucking truck and just backed all the way up and slammed into the fucking saddle like a dead man. So who you think they gonna be waking up at four in the morning with the bullshit, me, that's right, they calling me, they not calling, they not, they not gonna talk to the driver, they gonna kick him off the wheel right there and now, they gonna call me, hey man, your driver just slammed into the fucking silo, what do you find these dumbasses? I don't know, I don't fucking know, I didn't find them, they found me.